Okay, so we have uh, Steve Lindsay, the commander of SCS 133, Eric Bowe is the pilot, and Tim Culper is down there, is the flight engineer. So Steve, what can you tell us what's going on? I know you guys are extremely busy. You got all kinds of books up. What what, what do you got going on here? What's happening? We're uh, we're maneuvering and verifying that our uh, inertial measurement units are aligned properly for the orbit, so we have an accurate navigation system to come in to enter. So uh, we're working a couple of failures just to keep us uh, keep us awake. And uh, other than that, right. everything's going fine. And practicing your last day on orbit. Last day on orbit. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We got the uh, so we got the parachutes out and the seats set up and. Uh, Cooling units going, and before the this sims over, we'll be suited up and we'll enter. All right, so this is probably gonna this will be a big day because it's the end of your flight, and uh, it it's is. also the uh, last day on orbit for the free space shuttle uh, Discovery, isn't it? Is what you're It is. It is very, very uh, historic. Yeah, it's the first last flight, as I think uh, Ken Ham said for uh, <laughs> Atlantis. Yeah. <laughs> but this so, probably is going to be the last flight of Discovery. Probably. Yeah, probably I don't gonna think it's going to fly again. Right. Eric, what do you got going on over there? Well, I'm hoping not, Steve. We're basically setting up. We have a maneuver coming in to get basically at the orbiter pointed towards the sun to, to get us set up for entry. He's basically trying to keep me from messing up. Is that the idea? <laughs> that's his job. That's a, yes. yeah. that's a pretty good translation. Is that what you're going on? Yeah. yeah He's basically keeping an eye on me. Yeah, making sure it'll. Yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. it right. 4518409A, 1547. That looks right. Should be stay future. Yep. Full time it. And it does. Yeah. All right. It's good. Uh, this is the point in time where we transition from uh, orbiting vehicle to uh, getting ready to deorbit. So we transition from all our procedures for uh, deorbit prep, and uh, that allows us to get in a good configuration. This is a really busy sim because what we're going to do today is uh, put on our spacesuits and get ready to go home. And and since uh, this thing comes down like an airplane, it's very important to have it in that configuration. And so by the end of the day, we'll have our spacesuits on, our helmets on, we'll be strapped into our seats and ready to go home. Get everything get everything all set. And this is your, Tim, this is your second flight. Your this first flight was flight. a bit different, right? I mean, because you, uh, tell us about what you did on your first, if you have a minute here, tell us what you did about on I your do. first flight. I do, it's a little bit different in that uh, I went up and down on a space shuttle to space station, but I could spend two months on space station. Yeah. So. My ride was a space shuttle, but my home for a couple of months was the International Space Station. So this time, uh, before, I rode on the mid-deck and uh, it was mainly transportation. Yeah. This time, I'm pretty busy because I try to help out the pilot commander for all the tasks that happen on the flight deck. Right. And you're not going to, and you're not going to, make sure you get back on. That's a good idea. You, know, you, get, you make sure you get yeah. back on a thing or else you'll, yeah, you might get stuck. So, well, this uh, is a pretty unique flight because yeah. uh, uh, three of us have spent time on Space Station, right. Mike you, and Nicole. Yeah. We weren't all together though, right? Mike and Nicole were though, weren't they? Weren't they up together or no? Actually, I arrived and Mike was there. Oh, and okay, then Nicole great. came cool. up and we swapped. So all oh, three okay. of us had spent time together on Space Station. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. That's right, that's right. I didn't, I didn't realize that. That's very cool. But now you get to go back together and uh, come back. So yep. what, what people did you go up and come back on before? So I went up on Endeavor and I came home on Discovery. So this that's will be my second Your second, your second ride on Discovery. All right, very cool. What else? So you guys... Uh, you must be looking forward to this, huh? This is this is a big deal. It's a very big deal. We yeah. have a couple of spacewalks that we're preparing for, box right. robotics, so uh, we're gameplay employed. Yeah, we're, what about the historic nature of this? Because this is, you know, you, you know, we're winding down. This is the last, is it, most likely the last flight for uh, for the space shuttle. Have you guys been getting into a lot of that too? Do you, the, you know, the people around the center and around the country, uh, you know, kind of saying goodbye to the space shuttle here? You get a sense of that? I think the main thing for us is that we have tremendous respect for all the people that have worked so hard to make the space shuttle program successful. Uh, this vehicle has done tremendous things, and uh, we have a very visible job, but there are tens of thousands of people that have done just tremendous work to make this happen, and we're very proud of them, and we're very thankful for their great work. Cool. Did you, did you sleep in those things? It looked like you were just got out of your, you're in your pajamas. Well, this is did you? Did he just wake up? What? No, you didn't. No, you're in your, you're in your, you're in <laughs> So you've got you've got your thermal. Actually, they're fancier than what I remember. These were this the, the new ones. We're, we're going to get these. They were not getting them. 
but they're just teasing it. Yeah. They, said that they don't want to pay to change a drawing. So that, that little part of the drawing goes from like says from black underwear to blue underwear. <laughs> you think I'm joking? This is I'm serious about this. Because it's a change of color. Yeah. So we're going back to the old blue ones. All right. So this is just a tease. This is a tease. This tells us this is like here's what you're not going to get to wear on orbit. All right, so now you got that on, and yeah. you're gonna you're gonna get your uh, what, what are you gonna wear beside that? You're gonna wear any speed britches or anything? You're gonna wear a G suit. G suit. You're gonna put a G suit the big on. Orange pressure suit. Right. Yeah, helmet, get all gloves. Up. Get ready to come home. But you're not gonna put that on right now. No, it'll be hours later. Like right it, it looks cool, but it's not very comfortable. All right. You're MS one on this one. What MS one going up, and I'll be on the mid deck. So that means on, when you launch, you're gonna be on the flight deck. On the flight deck. On the and when right you side. when you okay, when you uh, land, you're gonna be down here with Mike. Down here with Mike. Yes. So I'm guessing then Nicole Stott, Nicole who's right swap. over there. She'll be MS one you, for sure. You, you want to introduce Nicole? Right? There's Nicole. Nicole is uh, she's gonna be sitting up there for uh, for entry and down on the mid deck. And then Mike's going to be uh, downstairs both ways. So, so are you guys kind of getting into this whole thing in the last flight of, uh, of Discovery? Is it a, yeah, kind of like a big deal? Yeah, the history of all the things that Discovery did. You know, you, yeah. kind of, you know that well, things got done during the program, but I never really paid attention to which ship these things happened Oh, because we know we got a lot of things to worry. Yeah. You don't worry about what you think of it generically. Yeah, so, so what did you find out? all these finds out that, that all these great, these first, you know, of course, Columbia was the first one to actually go fly. Yeah. Uh, but when we did the return to flight uh, for, you know, both on 121 and 114, those are both Discovery. Uh -huh. uh, they also did return to flight after the Challenger accident. I remember that. So every time you know, we've gone to reconfigure the orbiters, every time we really had a new orbiter, it right. looked the same. Uh, Discovery was the one that led the fleet. Yeah. I remember uh, Robin Williams waking up. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, I was like yeah. in college or something. Uh, yeah. And they had and Robin was like, good morning, Discovery. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it was actually him or just an impersonator. I think it was him. I think it was him. Yeah, it was. Yeah, was that really him? Yeah. All right, so that was, that was Discovery. I don't think so anybody else could do that. Him. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, I wonder if he was live in a control center. Likely. I don't know. I think it probably was. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so Discovery's on all those things. Yeah. And now you guys are going to finish it off. So, yeah. So. So I think this is, a, this is the first last flight of Discovery. First last. I think it probably is the last flight, though. Yeah, don't it probably, you know, is. It's probably you find You're going around probably around the country doing your training at KSC, at the Kennedy Space Center and all that. People getting kind of sentimental and uh, what, yeah, what's it like? What's the well, feeling like? The sense of pride. This is pretty historic. The, it works over the, at the over so they really seem to get that sense of history. Yeah. Now, this is their ship. We just get to rent it for a few days and take yeah. it out for a spin. Uh, yeah. But you can tell they're really proud of what they're doing. Uh, yeah. You can see, you know, they, they just treat that ship with love and care. Uh, yeah. And it, it gives me a sense of sense, real sense of relief because you know, we, we, we our lives depend on that ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's important. Like, yeah. And, yeah. And these guys are really taking it seriously, especially this, you know, about that last lap. It has had kind of that Memphis Bell feel to it, you know, for that yeah, final yeah. mission. Yeah. All right. And and and, and people, we, people got to be getting a little nostalgic about this whole thing. Oh yeah. Or, or think, oh you yeah. Know, this is. And there's a number of people that come up and talk to me and say, oh, I was here when we had STS-1, and wow. you know, I'll retire when we get the last one done. Yeah. So they're kind of like, you know, they got this about this 30-year lifespan of the shuttle mission, and that's about the length of people's you know, normal government careers. And, yeah, yeah. And so a lot of folks who are just looking back at the entire shuttle program, just they're about to exit with the shuttles do, too. Well, it's interesting, because your first flight, you said, was on, uh, was on Endeavor. Endeavor, yeah. And so this must have a much different feel, being in the last flight of a vehicle and why well, the shell program running down. It's very different, different ships. Endeavor was, yeah. you know, it's obviously the youngest shuttle that we've got. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I flew it on STS 118, it was the first time it had flown since before the Columbia accident, and it had been completely reprocessed in depot. So it literally had that new car smell to it when you get in there. Yeah. You know, everything was all brand new and overhauled and yeah. brand new instruments in it. How long did that last after you guys got inside? About, about yeah. two hours into yeah. flight, they were. Yeah, it turns into a frat house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but you get on yeah. a, no, Discovery, and Discovery has you know, got all kinds of wear marks and buff marks. It looks, it, it, it looks like it's been around the world a few it. times. Yeah, it has that kind of worn in feel to it more so than just an endeavor. Yeah. That's very great. Ships. I'm sure you guys are going to take good care of it, and uh, we look forward to watching you guys. Nicole, you changed your clothes. I did. So you've I'm got the fancy now, underwear on. Yeah. It's like a pajama party. It is. It's very much slumber party. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. What were you doing? You were checking something off before we interrupted you. Uh, I was checking. What are you, what are you this, doing? This is Mike's very nice card for uh, what we're going to be doing for de orbit activities. So you lose that and you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you I think say, we have four we, of them, though, just Houston, in Houston, we lost case. the card. We can't come home. <laughs> just in case. I think case. that's what you're going to be saying. <laughs> So don't lose that. Okay, I got four from just in case. We do, okay. yeah. Back up. All right. And uh, so it kind of goes by person, you know, what each person will be doing for right. deorbit prep. And we have a procedure that goes along with that, too. But these are kind of the big, big items just mm -hmm. to make sure we get them done. And it feeds all the way through making sure the seats are installed and you want to that you that. put all your filters away. Right. And um, just general configuration of the min deck and the flight deck, and yeah. then it goes through suiting up everybody to get ready to. So everything is on it. In your seat. So this way we don't forget everything. It is. If anything, and it tells you. And I like this over here. You got an extra one for. 
putting the uh, yeah, for actually the, putting the, the suit on, which and there's things like you can yeah, forget these them. things like where you're hooking up your cooling, you know, you've got this cooling garment on, it's got all little tubes running through it right. and stuff, with the one big tube that actually hooks into the you know where the water is right, going right. to pump through it, and that's all inside of the orange suit. So it would be a real bummer if you got everything all on and then said. <laughs> right. Yeah. And there's a lot to think about. And this is, and you two guys, this is your, you've flown together on a long, for a long time. So you know each other really well. I mean, you more or less lived in the same spaceship for how long were you together up there? We were only together Actually, like not that long, about three, three weeks. weeks I think. Three weeks. So I mean, yeah. it was at the end of my mission, and it was more yeah. the beginning of hers. Yeah. So, so we overlapped. Uh, right. So do you tell people like you know? And he said, "Wherever you lived in your life, well, I lived, I lived in Atlanta and Chicago and space and Houston." Yeah, add that to the thing. Because yeah, you lived there, you were there for six months. You were there six months. Yeah, yeah. And you were there 199. Yeah. You went short of the 200. I know. Darn. Gonna I think you knew that though, for this one. And how long were you up there? Oh, but 199 yeah, is a lot. Know that. Yeah, and and that's how, huge. And, and, uh, uh, 91. 91 I days. Yeah, you didn't but get it to was the 100, beautiful. but you're going to knock that it off was. when you get up there. Absolutely. You get to 9 great. pretty quick. So, I mean, do you say that? Because I was thinking about that. You know, you've actually lived in space. I mean, you, and, you know, the shuttle trip, you go up there, you come back two weeks early, doesn't count. It's like a, almost like a vacation. Right. But when you're there for a couple months, I mean, you can almost. You got you could file taxes. So you know, yeah, if you're, if you're you're a loan application and they want to know your yeah, uh, where, where, where do I live <laughs> exactly? Yeah, your address over the earth. I mean, what yeah, is yeah. Yeah. Voting, that, that kind of thing. Why do you yeah. feel like an app like an application or something like that when they want to know give you know give your residences for the past six years? Yeah. You put you know uh, <laughs> February uh, you know two thousand and eight to uh, <laughs> you know uh, August two thousand and eight. Low Earth orbit. Is that what you do? Do you do that stuff? Uh, I don't even forget my real addresses when I haven't flown. So. <laughs> <laughs> You just put your regular address down. Here. Yeah, I mean, there are certainly right, the times. So we're ready for block five, discovery. Certainly the times where you you want to tell people where you were living during that time. Yeah, it's a good excuse <laughs> for not doing something. But it's pretty cool. You guys get to go back together after. Uh, it's after neat. Being up there. Yeah, and of course, Tim Colonel too Tim was. Tim was all yeah, yeah. overlapping. All three of you are up there. Yep, I oh. saw Tim arrive and and leave. And yeah. So, Tim went back on um, Discovery. When you, I came up on Discovery on 128, and then Tim went home. He yes. was there before you, and then yep. you came up, and then you relieved him, and Mike was there for overlapping both. Mike got to see all of us. Yeah. Pretty cool. And everyone. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> so you, Alvin was filming us while we were... I was filming, filming you, filming, filming me, filming, filming you. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And the three of you weren't in space together, though, right? Yeah, Alvin, we you were up like a year or so yeah. before yeah. then, right? Yeah. Okay. So. But he's a bug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the other thing. Five bugs. Now Steve you gotta explain that. What is that? Know, five bugs. bugs. I mean, bugs might. If the people with other kids are gonna <laughs> yeah. get worried. They're gonna love it. Tell us about the bugs. Class. Class right. of 2000. Yeah. Explain the Millennium Bugs. The Y2K bugs. Class of 2000. Back in 2000, bugs. everyone was worried about the yeah. computer bugs, and yeah. you guys took the name. So that was your yeah. class name. You were yeah, all right. in the astronaut class of 2000. And everyone yeah, right. was worried about us. So yeah, and it's five of you on five of you together, and then Steve Lindsay. It's an honorary bug now. Honorary bug commander. What did he have to do? Did you initiate him? It wasn't. Is it secret? We're not allowed to do that.